Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas day seven, I think it is. I think this is seven, I can't keep track. Anyway, hope you guys are having a great morning. Uh, we have had a, a morning of like maintenance. I cleaned a little bit of the house um, and I'm getting ready to go into Boston this morning to go see a client, which I haven't done in a while because uh, I've been taking this month off because of living out here and the it's just been, it's been hard. So a lot of my business has been online. Uh, you guys know I've been doing a little bit of sponsorship stuff. So that's how I sort of make up for not seeing in-person clients, but we're going into Boston this morning to go, uh, to go help organize and uh, I'm taking Clover with me. He's not gonna go with me uh, to the client, but he's gonna go have a bath actually at the uh, place where he gets groomed and he's gonna get a sanitary and a nail trim because he's got the long nails, because he hasn't been um, going for walks a lot without the boots, so normally he gets um, his nails kind of trimmed by doing that, but he's got long nails, so now we're gonna give him a little bath. And he's doing really great. He had no more, like, um, he had a little bit of like a wet stool yesterday, not like a diarrhea, but like a softer stool. Um, he's totally fine this morning. Uh, hasn't eaten any more of my plants because they've been out of the reach, but he is perfectly fine, so <sighs> crisis averted. Uh, all right, we got to get ready to go uh, the uh, the hour to Boston. Here we go. All right, I just dropped Clover off at the groomers, and they're gonna watch until I get done with my client. But like, just being back in my own city area is like rejuvenating. I feel like I have had five cups of coffee, and that is that says something. I enjoy being in the traffic. I enjoy seeing all the houses too close together. I'm just enjoying the day, so um, I was tempted to go buy the new place and see what was happening, but like I'm not going to do that to myself. Um, so now I have another trip to go to uh, see my person, and um, I will talk to you after I'm done. Can someone please tell me why it's snowing again? <laughs> what? What is this? What? What? So, yeah, I'm done. I gotta go pick up, pick up Clover, but like, look at this nonsense. It, look, it doesn't look like it's really accumulating, but really? Also, my GPS just told me it's gonna take an hour and 27 minutes to get home if I leave right now. So it's super late at night, I already had dinner, and uh, Clover came back home from the groomer. I'll show you what he looks like. He got his feet trimmed accidentally, and I don't love them, but they'll grow back, it's fine. Um, I just wanted I put, to put my um, measuring tape back that I used in my session and I'll show you guys what's in my organizing kit. So I actually brought it inside to show you. I have this art bin um, that I have in the back of my car. <laughs> Clover's here and it's mostly the same since I last showed it to you but I'll show you what's in here. So it's like this plastic, there you, go, you can see this plastic bin and it lives in the back of my car. And in this, I have a couple of things, well, a few things I need for professional organizing jobs. I have a little smaller um, case that I carry with me too, but I don't have that with me right now because I downsized for the move because it doesn't plan on doing that many jobs, but I still have this in the back of my car and this is what lives there. So I've got a back brace for moving things around and not hurting myself. And I have a pair of slippers. These are, um, in case somebody wants me to take my shoes off, in their house, I have a pair of slippers and I actually have a pair of arch supports, which I wear <laughs> when I have these slippers on. So very, very handy. I just pop those right in there. I've also got a mallet because you never know when you're gonna need this. This is a utensil kit. I haven't used this actually, but I still have this in here after all this time. So if I ever need to eat lunch or dinner on the road, this is my little utensil kit, you know. Don't use disposable, have a pair of your own. There's also chopsticks, which is cute. Got a little tiny sort of office kit in here. So in here I've got my square reader plus the adapter for the new phone because I haven't gotten a new square reader yet. I probably should do that. I've got some double-sided tapes, some Sharpies, markers, and I also have a box cutter in here as well. In case I need to open boxes, which happens a lot actually. And this is an old Atelier Cologne box from I guess one of those holiday sets at Sephora. Um, if you guys love Atelier Cologne, let me know down in the comments because I, I love it. I used to get batteries in here, but um, you guys reminded me that I shouldn't keep batteries in a metal box, so instead I'm using this for 
a first aid kit. It's also got my lactate in here, some medical supplies, band-aids and stuff like that, just in case I hurt myself on the job, which happens more than you'd think. There, is this better? Can you guys see better? You kids can see this thing better. So I also have in my kit a pair of shoe covers, just in case I am somewhere where it's really not great for my shoes to step in. Or if I'm in a situation where there's plaster on the floor, um, where they're doing construction, these are really handy for keeping my shoes clean. I also have masks, just in case I'm in a basement where there's like rat poop or mouse poop, uh, or a lot of dust and stuff, I have masks. I always make my clients wear a mask as well if I'm wearing a mask because we both have to be safe. These are knee pads in case I have to be on my knees a lot. Mm. Get your mind out of the gutter now. I also have some little gloves just in case I need to cover my hands and do something really um, you know, hard on my hands. I don't wanna torture my hands, so I have some gloves in there. I also have some packing tape and I have some AA batteries. I have, there's also like one AAA battery in there as well. And I've got a big, oh my gosh, over in a minute we will play. This is like a really big twist tie. I have some alcohol in a spray bottle. This is 91% alcohol, so it's good for sanitizing items, tissues, and I have my set of acrylic cleaners. I know you guys have seen these before, but they live in there. And I also have some Clorox as well um, to clean any disgusting items that I find. And in here, I also keep my spare tape measure. So I wanted to put that back in here and put that back into my car. So you guys know exactly what's in my organizing kit. There it is. <laughs> and uh, there's not normally toy fries in there, but that's what Clover wants to do. You see, he got his little feet trimmed and I don't really, they trimmed off his feathering and I'm really upset, but whatever, whatever. it'll grow back. It's fine. Clover, you want to play with this? move the shredding here because this is um, for a client. She's needed some documents shredded and I just took them for her as part of the service. I'm missing one of these clasps on here which is probably, I'm going to replace this eventually because I don't think this package is very sturdy. It's been good for the last I think four years or something like that but I'm using but uh, I think like something more reliable as you can see I've got lots of uh, chuckets and all kinds of shopping bags and stuff in the back of my car. So I feel like that's gonna do it for today's Vlogmas. Not very exciting. I'm really sorry that I couldn't capture more of my day, but I was pretty busy. I spent most of it on the road traveling um, from here to Boston. So it was really inconvenient for me. Ooh, my car, ooh. But tomorrow will be a really fun day. Hopefully I'll capture more exciting footage for you and uh, I'll leave you with this good, exciting footage of Clover. Hope you're having a great morning, great evening, great afternoon, wherever you are, and I'll see you the next one. Bye. Clover. Can I go upstairs? Clover!